Hello, my darlings. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I have Lunar Beauties Life's a Drag Palette. Now, I will admit I opened it last night because I just couldn't wait. It came probably maybe Wednesday or Thursday or Friday. I don't know because we didn't check it until Friday. Um, we have to go drive to check our P.O. box and we just were lazy. Um, but I knew it was in there. I knew that it had arrived and I was patiently waiting on it. But um, I was going to unbox it and open it <clears throat> on camera with you guys. But I couldn't wait. So I opened it up. I looked at it. This hair is like growing sideways. Anyway. I opened it up. I looked at it. I did not like go into details and it was actually, I just had my lamp on. So like I didn't even get to go like full on into it. So that's what we're doing today. And then tomorrow, stay tuned because I'm going to do a tutorial. It comes in a plain black box. So we open it up and on the inside, it says Lunar Beauty. So you get a little card inside that has four beautiful people. This is Shea Coulee. This is Manny MUA. He is the founder of Lunar Beauty and the one behind this palette. Alyssa Ashley and Pheromone. I love this and I collect these. On the back you have Life's a Drag. And it's the palette broken out into... I. It totally freaks me out when I see pictures of like eyeshadows like that shattered. Oh, it's like the one thing you don't want to happen to your eyeshadow and they put that on like marketing. It's just like, oh, it just makes my heart hurt. Anyway, it says, bring out the queen in you with this beautiful mix of neutral and bright colors that blend effortlessly. Um, it's a 14 pan color palette. It is cruelty free. It says a special thank you to the models, Shea Coulee, Alyssa Ashley, and Ferrarized. <laughs> so it gives you their at... It gives you their, um, I guess it's their Instagram um, handles. Uh, and then in the top it says Lunar Beauty, Manny MUA 733, which is his um, YouTube channel name and also his uh, Instagram. And then LunarBeauty.com. So that is the little card that it comes with. And then it is bubble wrapped. So we're going to put the box over here. And get right into this because, hello. Okay, so like I said, I opened it already, so it's not so pretty. So this is the packaging. And it has a little sticker on it that closes it, which is an L and a B for Lunar Beauty. And it's got like a little star. Oop, I just popped some bubble wrap. This is so therapeutic. A little ASMR for you. Anyway, so... When you break into this, dun, dun, dun. Okay, first, upon opening, this is a big palette. Big palette. <laughs> it comes also bubble wrapped. And then, oh, you guys, look at that. You're going to see all kinds of reflections, but do you see the rose gold and the gold? Like, it is like rose gold. And it has embossed Life's a Drag in glitter with a crown. I mean, Manny did that, okay? It reflects everything. Look at how gorgeous that is. Things Manny did. That. So, the back of the palette has that same pretty rose gold. I just love that. It says Lunar Beauty. I dedicate this palette to all my makeup lovers out there. We are all queens. My first experience in the makeup world was in drag, which is why drag has been such an important influence in my life and always will be. I've worked so hard to come up with a beautiful, a beautiful mix of neutral and bright colors that blend effortlessly. I know you'll have fun creating sickening looks with it, as much fun as I had creating it. Thank you all for the constant support. Life's a drag wouldn't be here without you. And then it's Manny's signature and then all of the information on the box. I love this. This is probably the only packaging I'm probably going to keep. Like, I don't keep packaging. Um, some of it I do. Like, I kept, like, all my storybook cosmetics, like, packaging and everything like that because it was just so beautifully done. Um, and this is so beautifully done that I'm probably going to keep it. So, I really don't want to mess it up, though. 
Okay, can I get into this? Thank you. Okay. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, you guys. <gasps> Do you see that holographic shift on Manny's eyes? This is Manny's eyes in drag, and it says life's a drag, and it's embossed. And it's in that same rose gold that's on the outside of the package. Oh, I just love it. I think it is so freaking pretty. So pretty. Okay. So I've got Lunar Beauty. Can you see that rainbow reflex? Oh. And then on the back, you just have a plain white black, white back with the holographic shift over it. And then this is in that rose gold, and it's also embossed. And it is just absolutely beautiful. It says YouTube Manny MUA 733. So it has this information here, Lunar Beauty on um, Instagram. On the back of the box, it actually says that it is cruelty free. In Manny's reveal video, he actually states that it is a vegan palette as well. I will link that right there. But due to, um, I guess, time constraints, they couldn't get it certified vegan. So it is not listed as vegan, but it is a vegan palette because they do not use Carmine in their reds. So with that being said, um, if you haven't watched his, go watch his video. It is right there. Um, some of these may st stain your eye, and that's because of the dyes that they use in the reds. So um, being vegan, I look for things like that. I make sure that the palettes that I purchase are vegan and cruelty-free. Let's just go ahead and open it because I know that's what you're waiting for. It's what I'm waiting for. You get this nice heavy-duty plastic. All right, we're going to go ahead and pop that out, but oh. Let me go ahead and pull this back and give you a look-see. So pretty. Okay. Oh. Okay, so last night when I opened it, I didn't really, like, absorb the colors. I just kind of, like, lifted it a little bit, and I was like, oh, okay, I'll wait for you tomorrow. Um, this is beautiful. This is so pretty. The mirror has embossed Be a Queen on it right there, and it has these beautiful crowns all around it. Now, I've seen people clock him on his packaging. I've seen people say um, there's too much going on. Um that it is just unnecessary with all this going on, but I love that. Like, I am all about the packaging. Now, I like simple packaging, but on the other flip side of that coin, I love a good, like, extra palette, okay? And if anybody's going to do extra, it's going to be Manny, all right? But anyway, let's get back to it. Another thing that people were clocking him on, oh my gosh, I love this gold, like, glittery background that everything sits on. Oh, it's just so pretty. Um, but a lot, another thing that people were clocking him on was, um, the way that the palette is laid out with kind of like neutrals. And then you have your, like your two shimmer shades in the middle and then you have your brights. I like that personally, aesthetically, I was drawn to that. Like that's what I like in a palette. Like I think it is gorgeous. I think the layout is perfect. I just like the way that it's laid out. It it aesthetically pleases me, and yeah, I really like that. So thank you, Manny, for doing it the way that you did, because there are some people out there that are clocking him on that, and that is not a clockable offense. I believe that that is beautiful the way that it's laid out, and then it kind of separates with the two beautiful shimmer shades right in the middle. Um, you've got... I'm going to go through all the colors. I really hate bending this back, but it is what it is. So you've got Cake Face, Sickening, Hunty, Beat, Campy, Pageant Queen, and Kiki. Oh, I cannot wait to get into Pageant Queen. And then on the bottom row, you have Shady, Trade, Mug, Legendary, Kai Kai, Snatched, and Fishy. So, now, when I was younger, I used to go to drag clubs. There was a well-known one in town, and I used to go to that drag club all the time. So I learned very early what words like Kiki and Kai Kai mean. Um, yeah, don't Google that. Don't Google that. Just um, watch Manny's video. 
How about that? Do that. But anyway, I never in a million years thought I would actually um, have an eyeshadow named Kai Kai. <laughs> okay. But anyway, okay, so it comes with a dual ended brush. I don't know how I feel about that. I, first of all, I love the rose gold and lunar beauty on the handle. You see that? Does it even help if I put my hand up behind it? Probably not because, you know, I'm filming on my phone. Um, but anyway, it's got like a pink tint to the bristles. And I really like that. However, I store my brushes like this. So for a double ended brush, I either have to A, store it in the palette with the rest of it, which I don't like doing because I forget it's there. I don't use it. They don't get any play that way. There are makeup palettes in my drawer that have brushes with them that I don't even use because I forget that they're there. I can't keep it the way that I normally would keep my brushes, which bothers me that I have my brushes separate. So if any of you are like that, that is like my only gripe with a dual ended brush. It is what it is. I mean, I am thankful that he actually included a brush. You can pack the color on with it. Um, and then this one you can blend everything out with. So I'm not going to put it in there right now because what we're going to get into are finger swatches of all of this beautifulness. Now, I am right handed and I would probably easily swatch on this side. Well, I am tattooed on this side. And so I'm going to be doing this on my right arm with my left hand. That's going to be difficult. So I'm going to get some makeup wipes out. Swatches. Let's talk about swatches for a minute. Swatches are not the end all be all of an eyeshadow palette. The way that they're going to swatch with your finger on your arm is not how they are going to swatch on your eyes with a brush. Um, it's that's just obvious. So all that this is going to do is show you more of a color payoff if you were to use it with your finger. We're going to start with Cake Face, which is a beautiful buttery. All these are very buttery. Oh, look at that. Okay, that's Cake Face. And we're going to just swatch it right here. And I didn't need to go back over it. I just was trying to wipe it off, but just a white, matte white. I really like it. I'm white as you know what, so you can still see that on my skin. So it's very nice um, and will show up on my face. So guys, these are so buttery. This is sickening. Mm, mm, mm. Hunty. Yes, Hunty. I love it. I love it. I'm really excited for this one, you guys. It's called Beat, and it reminds me of all the rose gold on the palette. And, okay, so it's not as buttery. Oh, you guys. You guys. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my. Oh my. Do you, do you, do you see all of that? Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, there's still a lot on my hand, on my finger. I wonder how much more I could get off. Let's see. A little goes a long way, guys. A little goes a long way with this shadow. Yes, that is my color right there. I love that. I want to I wanna add that to my look, but I really wanted to do like a bright, everybody's doing a bright drag look, but I really wanted to do that when I saw the palette. I mean, obviously everybody wanted to do that. So anyway, next up we've got Campy, which is this really bright yellow. Let's hope that it performs. Oh, wow. Look at that. Campy. What? Look at, look at that yellow. Look at that yellow. Okay. I'm excited about that. The only one so far that has kicked back anything or kicked up anything is Beat, which is the shimmery one. And you can see it's kind of in the pan. You can see the texture. It's the only one that's kicked up anything. And I, I swirl it around about four times to pick up product. And I do that with every one of them. So I've got one, two, three, and four. And Pageant Queen. Oh, yes. I love a good purple. 
Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I love that. Now, you can see it's a little bit patchy right there, but I mean, these are again finger swatches. I, I don't, finger swatches are not the, um, they're not everything. They, they just aren't. But they're going to show you what the color looks like on my very white skin. This is Kiki. Now, Manny did say that Kiki wasn't very pigmented. Like it wasn't, um, I forget what he said, but you can watch it. But I'm going to go ahead and do a couple layers of Kiki. So you, you can build it up. It is a buildable um, color. It's very minty. Like, like almost like a turquoise aquamarine color. And that's Kiki. So this is the top row swatched. So you've got Cake Face, um, Sickening, Hunty, Beat, Campy, Pageant Queen, and Kiki. Oh, your girl did good. <laughs> because I wasn't sure if I remembered all of them. I'm really looking forward to swatching Legendary and seeing what that does. Okay, so when you remove these, there's lots of little glittery specks on my arm, which I don't care about, but there's, you know, residue left over. Okay, so next we're going to get into the bottom row, raw here. We're going to start with Shady and work our way to Fishy. So Shady has a different texture than the other ones. It feels a little more grittier. It doesn't feel as buttery as like Cake Face, Sickening, Hunty. Yeah, so some of them have different textures. So we're gonna go over here on this side and try to get a good spot. Okay, I remember Manny saying that it was not a very strong black or something to that effect. That's black, honey. <laughs> That's black, all right. So we're going to go into, I'm really excited about Snatch too because it's red and I love a red shadow. Love a red shadow. Okay, we're back to the buttery shades, which this is Trade. It's like a, almost like a mahogany, I want to say. This is Trade. I really like that. That's a really pretty color. All right, and next we have Mug. Back to the buttery, very buttery. It's just a chocolate brown. So as you can see, some of it, like, you see that? Which, again, I don't mind. Legendary, feels the same as Beat, obviously same formula. This color, y'all. Shut the front door. Look at that gold. Mm. Okay. 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 Oh, so excited. So excited. <gasps> you guys. You guys. Look at that. Look at, look at that. And again, there's a lot more on my hand. We're going to go down the arm. You could use this as a highlighter which Manny, I think, has used, I think, either one or both as a highlighter. Um, oh, that is just, that is so pretty. These, these shimmer shades in here, I'm really living for them. I really am. They are so pretty. Dipping into Kai Kai. This is this bright neon pink, which, hello, I love pink. Hello. Hello, pink. Okay, Pink, you're not coming through. Let's go over you with another swatch. See? Buildable. Buildable. Now my favorite one. I, I say it's my favorite one because only because based on the color. But Snatched, it doesn't have that same buttery consistency. Oh, you guys. This red. This is so pretty. Look at that red. I'm going to go over it again with a little bit more to build it up. Yes. 
I will be doing, I will be adding Snatched to my look. Now, since Snatched is a red color, I'm gonna see how well that actually comes off my finger, which, and and I don't, I don't care about staining. Staining doesn't bother me one little bit. Not at all, not at all. Little flecks of like glitter are all on my arm now where the shadow was. I don't mind that either. Um, it's not like chunky, heavy glitter. It's very like shimmery. I just, I love that. Okay, all right. And last but not least, we have Fishy. It's like mermaid blue. Look at that. And lastly, we're gonna Look at that. You know what? Let me pull this palette up online. Go to LunarBeauty.com. You can pick this palette up at LunarBeauty.com. I'm not sure where else you can get it. I think the palette was $45, which is really good um, for everything that you get in this giant palette. Um, yes, it is $45. Plus, I believe if you are in the States, it's like $5.95. I paid $51.50 for this palette, which I find fine and you know what it's out of stock i am so excited for you manny that is awesome congratulations i know you'll never see this but you know i'm gonna divide 45 dollars by 14 which breaks it down to three dollars and 21 cents per eyeshadow in the pan and you are getting matte satin and glitter so there are three different textures it says feel the fantasy come alive in this fierce and fabulous 14 pan palette this cruelty free playful palette contains all the perfect shades which holds effortlessly to the eyes and blends smoothly and evenly these shades may not be suitable for direct eye use and the reason he has to say that is because of the dyes that they use in the reds are not fda approved because the fda is way behind in the times and yeah so beat and legendary are probably the ones that i gravitate toward this one right here beat is probably going to be one i'm going to use a lot as well as snatched now there is nothing in this palette that i will not use um maybe the browns i'm not a big browns makeup i just don't do a lot of um smoky neutral smoky eye even though I have a huge neutral palette, I, I don't know. I'm just a makeup junkie. But anyway, um, it says, always use your favorite brush when painting your mug. Use a regular but stronger brush to get the most color. For blending, using softer brushes is the way to go. To line the eyes, it's best to use the small angled brushes. I really like that they actually give you some application tips on here for people who don't have a clue or they follow Manny and they're not makeup inclined, but they really want to support him. Um, There's a lot of good information out there online for how to do your makeup, um, what to use. There's so much now than when I started. I started back when, um, well, it's going to be 12 years this August. So I started a really long time ago. I started out doing makeup tutorials and they were horrible to say the least, but uh, in a couple videos back, I said I hated doing makeup tutorials. And it's not that I hate doing makeup tutorials because I have another one coming tomorrow on my, on my channel. Uh, it's I hate editing. It's so time consuming. But you know what? I love makeup that I need to push past that. Um, and like I said in my last video, mm -hmm. I am working on myself. And I really want to make sure that what I want to put out is stuff I want to watch. And so... Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, especially if you loved this palette. I mean, come on. Are you going to buy this palette? Tell me what you think. I'll leave the link to Lunar Beauty in the description, but I want to hear your thoughts on this palette. I want to hear what you think. I want to hear if you think that's too much or um, your other thoughts, but please leave the drama for your mama. I don't want it on my channel. Okay. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want more of me. And... More things like this coming to my channel soon. I have lots of other palettes that I need to review. But anyway, guys, I hope you're doing well, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye!